Welcome back to another episode of Homeless to 30K in 30 Days. Today I'm gonna to be going over a bit of sales breakdown. So we've got some infield footage, we've got me not getting a sale and me getting a sale. So we're gonna break down both of them, see what we could have done a little bit better, see some of the things we liked, some things we didn't like, and see how we can increase our numbers a little bit. So stay tuned and hopefully you guys learn a thing or two. If you guys learned something, you got some knowledge from this video, comment loop in the comment section below. Let me know you guys are watching, learning, and mastering your guys' craft. Now let's get started. Hey boss, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, are these the cool two little guard dogs? They're so ferocious. Yeah. <laughs> um, name's Josh, by the way. Have you seen me um, on the street like in the past couple days? No. The good looking guys in the gray shirts? Yeah, I, mean, I, I was like just inside. Oh, okay. um, we're helping Miguel, Rosa, and David right now. Okay. Um, we're doing all this stuff. I'll show you, just take two steps really quick. We're doing all this. We're scrubbing down all the windows and all the frames and all the sills. Yeah. Because it gets super, super dirty around this time of the year. And the reason everyone's kind of getting it done, sir, is we're giving a bit of a deal to younger gentlemen wearing Adidas hoodies. Okay. okay. That's actually you. Okay. Um, what I'll do, just so you know and everything, I'll go around, count up all the windows, and I'll just come give you a quick price, just so you know. Okay. I'll just be one minute. Okay. First thoughts on the initial pitch are, um, when I'm making, when I'm trying to break preoccupation with the little joke about the two guard dogs, I notice that my, I'm just talking a little bit too fast and I'm trying to almost rush my pitch. And I remember this guy very well. Um, he wasn't on the phone. He wasn't anything like that where I needed to rush my pitch. For some reason, I just got caught up in the pitch and I'm speaking a little bit fast at times. So we can maybe tone down the speed, relax a little bit and collect our thoughts. Now notice here, I'm trying to get this guy to the house. I want him to look at the windows with me. So I say, hey sir, just take two steps and I do this movement. This says, come here. It's very authoritative. I say, hey sir, just take two steps. I wanna show you something. And then here's the really important part. I don't look him in the eyes. I'm not gauging his facial reaction to get a yes or a no. I told him, come here and look at this. So now I don't need to know what his face is telling me because I gave him an order. He's supposed to come and look at the window. So tell him to look at the windows, take a couple steps, and then don't even look at him. Because if I look at them, they're gonna say no in their face. Is the gate on this side or this side? Uh, gate in the, front. the gate, just to get around back. Uh, both sides. Both sides, cool. I'll just be 30 seconds. Okay. Right. Hey, sir. I love the flowers back there. Is that you or is that the wife? I mean. Both, a little bit actually, of both? Yeah. yeah, right on. Um, so I'll just show you what we do. I'll kind of explain the process a little bit. We hand scrub every So first thing I do when I come back after giving a price is I always give them a compliment. I want to kind of break those sales patterns. It's like I'm not trying to sell you something. I'm just kind of a friendly guy in the door. Um, get a little bit more personal, personal with the homeowners. Now it sounds a little bit repetitive when I say we're doing the windows, the frames, and the sills because I've said it like five times at this point. But unless I say it five more times, the homeowner's probably not gonna acknowledge that we're doing the windows, the frames, and the sills. For some reason in his head, he probably still thinks we're just scrubbing down windows. Every square inch of all the windows, all the frames, and all the sills. Okay. Now every other window cleaning company in town, they don't take care of the sills or the frames. Okay. Now when it rains, the rain hits all that dirt and dust and it drips back on the windows. Okay. Usually it's pretty expensive. Okay. Typically the standard corporate for all the windows, all the frames, and all the sills around the whole house, top to bottom, okay. is usually 349. Okay. However, like I said, we've done a bunch of the neighbors on the street today. Peter, our first customer, he took care of the transportation fee for all of you guys today. Okay. So we're actually allowed to take off 100 bucks on each home, and it's okay. only 249 for the whole thing. Okay. And then once we're done, I want you and the wife to be really happy. So you know, you guys can come take a look around and make sure the place looks amazing. Uh, Does that sound I'm, good, sir? No, I think I'm good for now. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of like the price or is it the no, value, the would price. you say? No, not the price. I mean, uh, sometimes, I mean, we like to spend some time, like, mm. in the weekend to clean. I know it was raining, like, for, for mm. till last week, but uh, we would like to clean, like, mm. we 
I and, spent some time. And that's exactly why we're here, sir. So he gave, he let me into the backyard for a reason. He has some sort of interest in getting the windows done, but we can't just walk away because he said no one time. What, what we should try to do is figure out why he said no, because there's maybe a reason that we could fix a prob uh, problem for him and actually get the windows done. A lot of the neighbors here, you guys have really, really beautiful properties. You guys yeah. take care of them, I can yeah. tell. You guys all take a lot of pride in your home and you guys like to do this. The reason why everyone's kind of doing it today is just because we're giving a bit of a deal. Now, yeah. I, honestly, sir, my worker right now is just finishing up with Rosa. And to be frank with you, he's either you know playing on his phone, talking to his girlfriend, or he's cleaning a house that kind of needs to get done anyways. So right. can I give you a discount, sir? Do I have permission to do that? Can I give you a discount, please? I, I, I Can I do something like that for you? Yeah, but I would still like to say, like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, we really love to, like... Of course, know, I can even, tell. Even in the inside, and yeah. we love to clean. We don't this is a very logical reason as to why I would give a discount. I, I'm paying a worker to clean windows for me. My worker in 20 minutes is not going to be cleaning windows for me. So I'm paying him essentially to do nothing. So it's more worth my time to sell a job for a little bit lower and keep my guy busy so I'm making money than for him to just be sitting on the curb talking to his girlfriend. So there's a reason for that and the homeowner understands it. So he gives me the, the objection that they have free time, they can do it themselves, they're capable of doing it themselves and they are capable of doing it themselves. So, so he already said no. Um, we can't just come back in and loot for the clothes and try to sell him on the original offer we gave him because he said no to that. So we need to add some value and then give a discount, but give a reason for the discount. We can't just take off 100 bucks because we're desperate. We have to give a reason as to why we're allowed to take off that $100. Because if we don't give a reason, then we don't really have any value in our service. We're kind of just idiots on the door giving fake numbers. Wouldn't have made, we never asked for made there or Of course not. Yeah, we, we would like to Yeah, you guys like to do everything it. yourself. Yeah. And sir, the most dangerous phrase in the English language is we've always done it this way. So why don't we do this, sir? My workers are finishing up right now. I can tell you and the wife, you love a clean home. I've never met a wife that's been upset that her husband's went above and beyond to get the windows done. Why don't I just do this, okay? Why don't I just take off 50 bucks? We'll call it 199, we'll waive the tax for you. You and the wife go inside. You guys have a cup of coffee. We'll come over, we'll get the windows done. Afterwards, you guys can come out to a really clean house. Now I'm using this guy's wife to my advantage because, and this line always works, sir, I've never met a wife that has been upset that his husband went above and beyond to get the windows done. Like, sir, you literally called me out just to make your wife happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm making it seem like like this guy's the winner out of anyone. He's He gets to pay some kid to clean his windows and then his wife gets to come home and he's the hero. There's a reason for this discount. I'm trying to help him out. Does that sound good, sir? I, I no, I, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Any now. particular reason? No. Is it kind of like as I said, like I we we would we mm -hmm. love to clean our backyard, front yard by well, ourselves. Sir, why don't I do this? Why don't I do something you can't do? You're obviously a very capable guy. You live yeah. in a beautiful home. Why don't I do this, okay? And I don't do this for many of the neighbors. Up here in the gutters, you guys have a ton of dirt and dust built up yeah, on the outside. Yeah, actually, for the and gutters. And it gets stained and it's really hard. Yeah, but, but for the gutters, I because I don't have the gutters in the front side, I mm -hmm. mean, sorry, the back side. Mm -hmm. So uh, a guy is coming to install the gutter. Mm -hmm. uh, I have already contracted with him. He'll come install the gutters and clean the existing gutters and the French drain that mm -hmm. I have. And so, so those guys clean the insides of the gutters. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. We clean the outsides. These get stained and they need, need to be replaced. Know, so what I'll do, sir, why don't we just do this? You're a busy guy. You're a hardworking guy. You go back inside, take care of the things you need to do. I'm going to take care of all the windows and the frames. And what I'm going to do, sir, I'm going to scrub down all the gutters around the outside of the house and clean down all the doors for you guys as well just to add a bit of spice to the front end of the place. No, I'm, I'm not be like yeah, you can. Now here I actually ask him if I can give him a discount. I'm like, sir, can I please give you a discount? Now the reason I'm doing that, if I just give him a discount and take off a hundred bucks, I don't know if that's gonna push him in the right direction. He might not wanna do it for a hundred dollars less. He might not wanna do it at all. But if I, ask him, if I ask for permission to give him a discount and he says yes, that means we've already agreed on the deal, we just haven't agreed on a price yet. So as long as I can get down to that price point, he's already agreed to because he gave me permission to give him a discount. Now here on my second discount, you can tell my tonality goes from way up here to right here. And you can hear, I'm, 
I'm trying to give him a discount, but I don't want him to tell the neighbors. If I speak in a quiet, soft tone, it sounds like it's, this is a scarcity project. Like, if you can be quiet, then we can do it. But I need your confirmation that you're not going to tell the neighbors. Seems like it's kind of exclusive. He's the only person getting this deal, so we have to be quiet about it. I make him feel special, feel a bit powerful. Now here I'm selling him on convenience. I'm selling him on the fact that he has to do literally nothing but go inside and enjoy his free time. And once I'm done, I'll give him a knock on the door and then he can come out and make sure the place looks amazing. I'm trying to give this guy some time back. I'm selling him on his own time right now. So now I'm kind of hyping this guy up. I'm like, sir, you're very capable. Like, you can obviously do these windows, but it's like, sir, you're clearly capable of doing all of this. However, there's something that you can't do. There's something that only I can do. Now I'm going to add a bunch of value in the fact that we're going to do the gutters, which is something that he cannot do. Now my word choice here is very important. I'm not going to say what I can do is I can scrub down. It's, it's what I'm going to do. I'm pre-framing that we've, he's already made the decision we're doing the windows. I've made the mental decision that we're, we're doing the windows. Now I'm just literally telling him all the things I'm going to do and why it's convenient for him to go inside and let me take care of what I just told him I would do. That is called assuming the sale. Good action. This is one of my famous lines. I love saying I'm gonna add some spice to the front end of the home. A really good value builder is throwing something at the f near the front door that is the most visible around the house. So here, Good actually. I uh, like I as I said like I have already hired a person who is cleaning to come the gutters and the French drain. So uh, mm -hmm. I like as I said I don't want to pay like twice mm -hmm. because I need to. In I, I mean I'm good at cleaning but I don't know how to install. So mm -hmm. that's why I have hired that guy. I mean probably. Well, sir, it tells me, sounds to me like you're good at a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, but you're good at making yeah. money. You're good at business. Yeah, but you're good at uh, you're good at delegating yeah. small things that yeah. do not matter nor yeah. move the needle yeah. to guys like me. Sir, you go back inside. I'm gonna get the gear. We're gonna do it for two hundred. And once we're done, I'm going to knock on the door and you and the wife are going to come see how amazing of a job we did. Um, um, that sound good? I'm telling, I'm now again, he's, he's, he's really trying to get me off his doorstep here, but I figured one last hurrah. Let's try to hard close this guy. Let's tell him to go back inside of his house and we're just going to get started. We're going to try to hard close him. One last Hail Mary. I could have sat here for 10 minutes and really tried to push this guy, push this guy, drop the price a few, a few more times. But to be honest, it was a good effort. He wasn't going to buy. Let's just move on to the next house and try to get another sale. Good, I'm good for now. Okay, sir, Thank you. you have a good Thank one. You. Take care. Hey boss, how are you? How are you guys, how are you? Amazing. Um, name's Josh, have you seen us on the street at all in the past couple days? Good looking guys in the dark blue shirts. Um, we're just helping three of the neighbors on Estella right now. We're helping them wash all the... So I always make this joke, not always, but with the right homeowner, I make the joke of like, have you seen us? And I'm, I'm acting, I'm like, have you seen us? Like, it's important, you should have seen us. Have you seen us? Oh, just the good looking guys in the blue shirts. It's like, I'm going really hard, and then I'm taking away. So I always start off the interaction, I like to at least with a joke, because ultimately you're on their doorstep, they probably have a no soliciting sign, they don't want you there at all, so at least at the bare minimum, try to brighten their day and make it a bit of a more pleasant interaction. The windows, all the frames and all the sills, we're doing a bit of a deal to younger dudes with glasses today. That's, that's you, sir. <laughs> what I'll do for you, I'll take a quick look around, count up all the glass, and I'll come give you a quick price. Is the gate on this side or this side? Um, the gate's on the other side, hang on. Cool. Um, the Another one of my famous lines is, once I tell I'm gonna go to the backyard, I say, is the gate on this side or this side? Because there's only two answers to that. There's, there's it's on the left or it's on the right. There's no, that doesn't invoke a, a no or a, I'm not interested. I asked them, is it better if I go around on the left or, or on the right? There's only two choices for him and both result in me getting to the backyard, giving him a price. Now, since he gave me a hang on at the end, I could tell that he was probably going to verify with the spouse. You know what, dude, I guess I think we're okay. And we're doing all the frames and all the sills. That's kind of why we get called out because when the rain hits all the dirt and stuff, it gets back on the windows. We keep them clean all year. That's why we're here, sir. Like I said, I'll just count up all the glass, give you a quick price, just so you know. Okay, all right. Um, that's fine. Cool. Uh, I'll just be one minute. Now, I don't even really acknowledge his objection at all. I just go, mm hmm, and we're doing all this stuff. I already told him what we're doing. He knows we're doing the windows, the frames, and all the sills. I am telling him literally the exact same information in with just 
different word choices, just a word here, a word there. So looping is really just regurgitating the exact same information you just used. Nothing changes, you're just interchanging a few words here and there. Hey sir, love the net back there. Is that uh, for soccer? What is that? The net? Yeah, yeah. soccer. Soccer? Oh, right on. Um, so I counted everything up. So, like I said, we hand scrub every square inch of all the frame from all the sills. Yeah. Then we scrub down all the glass to loosen up the dust and dirt particles. Mm -hmm. We rinse it off afterwards with deionized water. Right. Now, usually the standard corp rate for all the windows, frames, and sills is typically 309. However, since we're in the street and we've done four neighbors already on the block, we're waiving our $100 transportation fee. So it brings it down to just 209 for the entire thing. And what we're doing for the neighbors in the street, just as a courtesy, we're scrubbing down the solar panels to increase product productivity. So it's just 209 for all the windows, all the frames, and all the sills, and all the panels, just kind of as a courtesy. And then, you know, once we're done, I want you to be really happy. So you, know, you and the wife can walk around and make sure the place looks amazing. Got it. Got it. And is this like a subscription thing, or are you just doing it? No, we're just doing um, the windows today. Time thing. Yeah. Okay. And when are you doing the work? Um, we're just on a house right now. We'd probably okay. be so over you'd be the like next. Do it like today. Or yeah, in the like next that? like half hour or so. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Hang on. Cool. Okay. And then um, yeah. And then do you go around to the back of the house as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah we do all the windows, all the frames around the whole place. All right. And then do you guys just take cash or? Uh, we do or cash, you? check, Venmo, Zelle. Okay. Cash app, all the works. All right. All right. We, we do it all. All right. All right. Yeah, we'd, uh, I think we'd be up for it. Okay, cool. 